we need to spend some time talking about the glow plugs. The glow plug system is used to warm the air inside the cylinder to eliminate cold weather startability problems and reduce the startup smoke you guess sometimes get, the white smoke. The glow plug system is ECM control, but it's powered up and controlled by the glow plug control module. Here's the glow plug control module. It's mounted to the engine chassis. It's got a barometric sensor located inside the ECM. It's going to use inlet air temperature two as an input, the ECT, the crank and cam to see what's happening. Then it's going to control the amperage and drivers out to each one of these glow plugs as you see here. Now we have a number of ways we can look at the glow plug, but let's talk about some of this. Here's the harness coming around here. Kind of hard to get into because it's armored so it doesn't get beat up too badly. Uh, here it is disconnected. Sometimes these get pretty hot and fried, so we uh, want to replace them. This is a replacement item that can be purchased separately. Here's our glow plugs. Their entire purpose is to create a hot spot in the cylinder. There's a number of ways we could test them. We could do the old-fashioned way and measure resistance. It's very temperature sensitive. It's going to range between 0.5 and 2 ohms. But there are other ways to test it. Let's look at how they're mounted before we start about testing it. They're all going to be going back through a common harness we can look at to look at some things. On time of this is going to be dependent on engine oil temperature and altitude. Remember, it has a barrel sensor inside. The uh, glow plug control module can run anywhere from 1 to 120 seconds, depending on temperature, and it's going to turn off current when we get above 131 degrees for engine oil temperature or engine coolant temperature. So here's our glow plugs. We went to prove that they're turned off at above 132, warmed up an engine, shut it off at 132, and sure enough, we go look at scan data, we find the glow plug, injector, lamp, commanded on, no, oil plug time, zero, control time, zero. We have no desire to run the glow plugs because we're plenty warm. It's used for cold startup. It's going to be controlling the current, and we've got to say current because current is what generates the heat. So the control uh, module is going to di has its own diagnostics and sends out messages to the PCM. It has the ability to turn off one glow plug if a short is detected in that circuit. So the glow plug has four connections that supply power to the glow plugs individually and an oil seal to keep from leaking when we get through the access hole. We have two different versions, actually three. Remember, we got a green and a black, but the black is for 6.0 and we have two versions of 6.0 you must order by the VIN number and the revision number. Here's the actual glow plug we've removed so we can look at it. There's some difficulty removing some of these. Use an engine solvent around the top. Let it sit for a few hours if you have trouble getting it loose. Don't break it off in the, in the cylinder. Head. Now here's the glow plug control module. It's located near over near the back of the engine where our injector control pressure sensor is located. You see it in the injector control pressure sensor picture. The test can be done with bidirectional testing with a scan tool. It's going to test it for, looks for opens and shorts. Shorts too much current, opens too little current. But one thing to keep in mind, occasionally under certain conditions, it is possible to blow the fuse on this system. Before getting too deep in any diagnostics, make sure you got B plus and the fuse is good before doing too much. Here's our test. We're doing a diesel engine running glow plug test. We've initiated and the scan tool tells us we are performing the test. Now it tells us up at the top to turn the AC off and various other things. Make sure the battery voltage is up at system voltage. When we're done with the test, it gives us a code that indicates cylinder number eight glow plug circuit has a problem. That means it's an electrical problem. Too much current, too little current. We need to figure out how to test that. To test it, we can use a lab scope. Here we're using a MODIS and the low current probe that comes with the MODIS. If you're testing, or all the glow plugs at one time, you need to use a high amps probe like we're using here because the amperage is going to be very high, over 150 amps when you have all of them turned on at one time. So use a large one to test all of them so we can verify the current flow. Here's what it looks like. It comes up to about 20 amps, then tails off as it heats up gets off around about 10 or 11 amps when, it's, when it comes down. This is only on for about one second right here. So it's very quick. Be aware of that. And you're only going to see it if it's below 132 degrees. So keep all that in mind. 
if you're going to do individual or all of them, do not use the single low amps probe like we've got here with 20 amps. That has to be done with individuals. So if we're going to do individuals, we use our small globe, our small one. Big, we have to use the big amps probe for the main B plus going into the module. We do individual ones here. Like you can see, we can get A, B, C, and D. We can go look at individual ones. Each one is grounded to the engine block. So it's a simple matter. Do we have the proper voltage? Obviously, we have a good ground because they're grounded to the engine block. Is battery voltage good? 